Hey everyone, this is Dr. Raphael Emmerich Salas. I'm your board certified plastic surgeon, and this is your plastic surgery nip. It's a collection of videos and important bits of information to help you on your plastic surgery journey. Give me a couple of minutes and I'll give you the power of knowledge so you can make better decisions in your aesthetic journey. Today we're gonna to talk about why you should get plastic surgery. And the short answer is, you shouldn't. Now that might sound shocking coming from a plastic surgeon, but it's the truth. You should only get plastic surgery because you want to get it, not because somebody else thinks you should or because you feel like you should. The reverse is also true. If you're doing this for you, your friends and family should be appreciative of that. They should encourage you and support you, not discourage you and speak badly about it because it's a very personal decision. So I can tell you a couple of examples of why people have chosen to do this, but in the end, it's your decision to make. You have to have your reason to do it. And I can be there to help guide you along with that, but I'll never try to convince you to do anything. So one of the reasons why people want to get plastic surgery is to change something that they feel they could improve. And that may be something that they were born with, which may or may not be a normal variant, but there are many degrees of, of beauty. It's just a matter of perception. A good example that comes to mind is breast size. Many people feel that a C cup is right in the middle, so it's the best one. That doesn't mean that a B cup is too small or that a D cup is too large. It's all a matter of perception. I can help you make those choices and I can certainly help you avoid maybe making bad choices like going to extremes. Perhaps a triple D is not a great cup size if you're only five feet tall. Another uh, possibility is a life event that occurred. And something that comes to mind is a pregnancy where your abdomen can suffer some changes, this muscles separate, the skin acquire stretch marks and stretches, and then your uh, breasts increase in size and then deflate and become a little bit droopy. In this scenario, we're actually talking about restoring your, the body you used to have, not necessarily changing it. We're putting it back where it was. And then the third um, most common thing that we hear, and I think that affects most, uh, well, actually all of us, is uh, aging. As we know, when you age, gravity is not our friend. It pushes everything down south. And also you start having volume changes where you're losing volume in areas where you'd like to keep it, like your face, and then you're gaining volume in areas like you like to lose it, like your midsection. The point is there's a lot of reasons to have plastic surgery, but it's gotta be because you wanna do it. And I can be your guide and help you make good decisions along the way. So thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content, please leave us a like or a comment. If you are listening, please give us a rating. We'd really appreciate it. If, uh, if you have any topics you'd like me to cover in the future videos, please feel free to send them to us and definitely check out our website, spsmiami.com for before and after photos and more great content. This is Dr. Raphael Emmerich Salas. This is your plastic surgery nip. Talk to you soon.